In this lesson, we'll review a sentence completion problem. It's part of the critical reading. We're on page 898. Question 8 out of 8, so we know this is a difficult problem. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein centers on a scientist blank. The overweening pride that makes him believe he can usurp nature. I've written Frankenstein in uh, this different color just to, uh, it's supposed to be italics, but obviously it's a name of a title. I think that's more of a salmon color. But anyway, this is her book. And the key phrase centers on a scientist blank. Here it is, the overweening pride that makes him believe he can usurp nature. So really you're looking for a word like excessively prideful, arrogant, and usurp is a good word. Usurp means just to command or to take by force. So we're just looking for a word, some type of, you can just use the same word here. We're looking for a word like excessively prideful. So we could even put arrogance somewhere along those lines. So if you just get in the habit of predicting, it makes these much easier and we'll review the choices. And again, we're gonna build some vocab, obstinacy. To be obstinate is to be stubborn. That is not excessively prideful. And some other good words for obstinate, intractable, cannot be managed, or intransigent, obdurate, <laughs> lots of good words here, and recalcitrant, recalcitrant. All right, I'm going to skip over the answer. The answer is B here. All right, impetuous. This is to be very whimsical. We had the word quixotic, to be spontaneous, capricious, arbitrary, without planning. Valor, we know, obviously does not work. Valor is just bravery, and a good word for bravery. We know trepidation is fear, to be intrepid, fearless. So those would work together. Again, that is not arrogance or excessive pride. And callousness, we know callous, the noun, a callus on your hand, for example, that would be something that's hard, but callousness, this is a quality and it relates to that. And it means very insensitive or un, um, unsympathetic. Obviously this is not it. It is hubris and hubris is a very common word for excessive pride. This actually comes from uh, Greek mythology. There's also haughty to be excessively prideful and super Silius. All right, so hopefully you arrived at this choice. It wasn't a very difficult question, but it was made more difficult by the vocab and the answer choices. All right, the answer here is B. See you next time. Thanks for watching.